What's up everybody, Magic with RacingNews.com here to watch the Grade 1 Coolmore Turf Mile Stakes at Keeneland on Saturday, October 7th, the 10th race, the 5th and final leg of the All Graded Stakes Late Pick 5 at Keeneland. Just a massive, awesome day of racing at Keeneland, and it caps in this Grade 1 race, the million dollar purse, and you have last year's winner of this race, Annapolis, back in it. You have a two-time undefeated this year going a mile horse in Master of the Seas, uh, who's coming off that Woodbine Mile, just explosive effort. And oh, by the way, up to the mark, who's probably the best turf horse that we have in America. He's coming back off of an extremely long layoff into this race. We haven't seen him since June 10th, and then it's at a distance that's probably not his best, and they're trying to get him into the Breeders' Cup. So, uh, so many different storylines to, uh, to pay attention in this one. My pick, I loved Master of the Season, the Woodbine Mile. I thought it was super impressive. He's my single here. Up to the mark, I'm just afraid it's going to be a little off um, coming back from that long break uh, into his super tough grade one. I mean, he's got to face, you know, a, a, even horses like a tone set piece like Annapolis, I mentioned. They're not schlubs. Like, it's not going to be an easy cakewalk for him here. And, of course, you have Master of the Seas. They're off. Uh, good break for Pritch. I thought maybe Master of the Seas bobbled a tiny bit, but he, uh, yeah, he likes to sit off anyways. Uh, Annapolis, ooh, Annapolis wants to lead. He's going to be able to clear over and at least run too wide, um, outside of, uh, who is that horse? Outside of the two, Indestructible heading that first turn. The three stitch is going to ride the rail in third with a tone in fourth and then quite the gap. Uh, English B is back there. Um, up to the mark traveling with him, or I'm sorry, up to the mark is actually traveling just outside of Master of the Seas, and you have set piece back there. Harlan Estate is in mid pack, 23 and three. That's actually pretty slow for a turf mile. Pretty sensible fractions. Um, a horse like set piece, who's a stone closer, even you know up to the mark of Master of the Seas. This is where they really prove their class. Is despite the slow fractions, they still just blow past them. Annapolis is in the perfect spot, 47.3 seconds. Uh, for the half mile. Nalpus is in a great spot, and he is more of a front runner than the other ones. Uh, he's a, a, a stalker. He makes his move right there. So Annapolis has the lead. He's got the jump on the two best horses behind him. Can he keep them at bay? Uh, Master of the Seas. Oh, he's going to get stuck behind horses. Nope, he's gonna, he got room there. Uh, he got room up to the mark. I, I don't know how up to the mark ended up behind Master of the Seas, but here he comes with the big uh, Master of the Seas strikes to the front. Holy cow, up to the mark. Oh my gosh, he's going to be close up to the mark rallying. I don't know if he's going to get there in time. Uh, ooh. Wow, that finish. Holy smokes. You know what? In real time, I think Master of the Seas might have won the nose head bob on that. That is, wow, we've had so many great photo finishes today. I mean, you saw the Yugiri and Wicked Halo in the TCA stakes. Look at this. This makes no sense. Up to the mark is behind Master of the Seas at the 60. I mean, he's weaving behind him, and look at him kicking the gear. Holy hell. Look at that horse. My God. I mean, up to the mark almost doesn't deserve to lose. By the way, set piece up for third from last. Um... Up to the mark doesn't deserve to lose this race. I don't know who wins the wire shot here. Oh, that is so hard to tell. Yeah, he might have gone up for third over Annapolis in fourth. Annapolis just, he hasn't progressed as a four-year-old, unfortunately, uh, against these older horses. He was great as a three-year-old. Look at this head bob. Look at this slow motion head bob. Oh, Oh, I think up to the mark got him. And for me, that's a heart. Look at this. We're on up to the mark behind Master of the Seas. Literally behind him. Finally, at the 16th pole, he broke free. I mean, that's just crazy. Look at him go and go and go and go and got him. I think he got him. And it's heartbreaking for me because I had Master. I had a lot of money on Master of the Seas. And like bets, you know, pick threes and doubles all running straight through him. But my goodness, you know, when you get beat, you get beat. And if up to the mark did that, I mean, off of this one, all right, let's talk about Breeders' Cup. He beat one of the best turf milers that's going to the Breeders' Cup, right, that we know was going to be there. Uh, presumably one of the best Euros that will be there. He just beat him at a mile off of a 
Uh, let's go back. I'm going to go back and find out that Jose looks, by the way, on that gallop out right there. He looks like he knows he won. And the camera's showing him. 119 days, so four months. We haven't seen up to the mark. Haven't seen him in four months. And that's, you know, they, they were trying to get him back to be able to get it. And there it is. He's first officially. Man. I can't believe the jockey. Master of this season. Is that Jimmy Doyle? Yeah, James Doyle is looking like I can't believe I got beat either. Um, hats off to the entire Todd Pletcher team to get that horse ready off of that layoff to come back and win. Have that kind of effort at the end there. Jose Ortiz with the patient handling. Um, I don't know if his patient, he made the, the correct handling to weave around all that traffic. Uh, that was just crazy how that finish happened. Um, okay, anyways, what I was going to say. Breeders' Cup for up to the mark. Um, you got to go turf, right? Like he was building to that before he got hurt. He, um, you know, a, a race at a mile, it was an allowance, but then he goes to a mile on the 16th and he looks better and the, an allowance race. And then he goes to the Great One Makers Mark Mile and he runs a good third here at Keeneland, but it's a mile. Um, and then he goes to the Grade One Turf Classic at Churchill Downs and smile on eighth. He looks incredible. He goes to Grade 1 Manhattan going even longer at a mile and a quarter and looks the best that he's looked in his entire career. Until now. That was just such an... I mean, that kind of an effort off of the layoff just is is unbelievable. Um, so, all of that said, you go Breeders' Cup Turf. You got the mile. He's got the rust knocked off. Jose Ortiz grinning from ear to ear as he should be. You go mile with this. Or you go to the turf of this horse, I think. Um... Jeez, what an incredible effort there. And then you go Pegasus World Cup turf with him, and maybe you go overseas to Dubai, the Shima Classic, something like that. And that's what I think you do with him. That's The Americans don't get a horse of that kind of talent that he has very often. And by the way, fully Kentucky bred. Not this time, Kentucky Stallion. Go Zapper, American horse. Oh, man. You finally got a good one on the turf for the Americans, I think. What do you think about this race? Tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Should he go mile? Should he go turf? Master of the Seas, I think, wants him to go up to, to the turf because Master of the Seas, I think, is winning the mile if this horse doesn't show up there. But tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. Before you leave, click like on the video, subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes, and visit racingdudes.com for free picks every race, every track, every day across the country. Until next time, good luck. Racingdudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. It's Breeders' Cup season, and we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Championships. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes right now. Click the notification bell. You never want to miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.